So today's video is going to be about building a content plan. Now I use the word content plan instead of topical map because I'm not clever enough to know how a topical map works. Um, I just want to know the list of articles or the list of guides or topics I need to cover on my website to get topical coverage. Um, I want to know what keywords those pages should target. I want to know whether they're easy to rank for, whether they're hard to rank for, so I can prioritize them. I want to know the potential volume of these topics. I want to know the word count I should be aiming for. I want to know those things. Um, and also maybe if they belong to a certain category. I think a topical map does those things, but I've used a few services in the past and they've just been very, very difficult to navigate and understand. I just want a list of topics. So I'm going to go through today how to build a content plan whether it's for your own website or for your clients, how I'd go about it. And the, what, the website I'm going to use is giftassistant.io. Um, this is my website. It's all about gift ideas. It's got an AI gift generator. And I've just recently added this section called ideas, forward slash ideas, which will be a content bank of all kinds of gift ideas. Gift ideas for nan, gift ideas for granddad, gift ideas for wife. Gift ideas for 10th birthday, 9th birthday, 8th birthday. So you get the picture. There's going to be potentially thousands of gift ideas or articles about gift ideas that I can publish on this website and start earning a lot of traffic from it. So the way that you could do this is by manually going into Ahrefs or whatever keyword tool that you're using and going gift ideas for granddad. Gift ideas for um, Nan. Gift ideas for eighth birthday. So you see, you're just sort of manually getting it from your head and putting them all in and then doing a search. And you can see the um, you can see the search volume and you can decide whether you want to go for it or not. This is an inefficient way of doing keyword research um, what I like to do is find a pattern a search pattern and with that pattern then you can catch all the keywords related or all the keywords that will be within that search pattern and then you can you can prioritize from there using filters and and whatever else you need to you need to do so the way that I do that is I start writing out some potential search terms my audience would use so for this gift website, it would be gift ideas for granddad. Gift ideas for uh, nan. Uh, ideas for birthday gifts. Um, ideas for anniversary gifts. So what, what I'm trying to do here is just get an idea of the different ways people can search for gift ideas. Um, and and what, what I can do from that is then spot some patterns. So here I'm spotting gift ideas for is definitely something that, that is going to be used on a lot of these keywords. Gift ideas for. And then another one is ideas for gifts. So where there's a star, it's it's where like they would put in whatever it might be, you know, whatever the the variable is. Um, so using these two patterns, we can find all the keywords um, with one one click essentially. So I'm going to put this into Ahrefs and I'm going to see what comes up. So I've got gift ideas for star star is my variable ideas for star gifts you don't need to put the star in i just i like to see just so i know you know what what i'm doing really um and then there you go you click matching terms and it comes up with yeah forty thousand keywords 864k volume Gift ideas for women, gift ideas for men, mom, her, Christmas gift ideas for her, unique gift ideas for men, gift ideas for dad, gift ideas for teen girls. 
So 40,000 keywords. Now, some of these keywords are going to overlap. So there, there's one here, gift ideas for women. There might be another one, which is gift ideas for ladies. Now, uh, these keywords are arguably should should be targeted with the same page. You know, so these two keywords, you target with the same page. You don't have a different page for each, you know, slightly varied keyword. That isn't good user experience. It's hard to manage. You should be clustering these keywords into um, into groups that, that are all targeted by the same page. And the way to do that is you use a clustering tool. Now, Ahrefs have got not a very good one, but it, it kind of works. So if you click cluster by parent topic, this those 40, 50,000 keywords are now 4,000 keywords. So 4,000 pages, and these are all clustered. So if we look at what keywords are in gift ideas for women topic, we see gift ideas for women, obviously, but then we see birthday gift ideas for her, gift ideas for her, gift best gift ideas for women, birthday gift ideas for women, great gift ideas for women. So Christmas gift ideas for women. So I don't like the fact that there's birthday in there um, because gift ideas for women and birthday gift ideas for women, I think are different intent. But Ahrefs seem to have clustered this, so we would have to look at the SERPs on an individual basis. Um, perhaps this gift ideas for women would include some birthday gift ideas, but I still think birthday gift ideas for women would be a, a separate page. This is why I'm kind of not confident with, with Ahrefs clustering tool, but it's good enough. Just just double check some of the stuff that they uh, they push out. The tool we use is called Cluster AI by Nick and the team at Content Distribution. Um, I don't know what this this little thing is up here. I'll have to tell Nick about this. But this tool is good. I don't know if it's the best on the market. I don't know. I know there's Keyword Cupid. I know there's there's a lot of tools which are which are good at clustering. We just like this one because. The output is um, is very nice. It's very simple. Um, it's it kind of suits our, our style of working. So it's not complicated. It just gives a list of potential pages we can build, along with the keywords associated with it. So yeah, we use this one. So check it out. Um, so as you can see, yeah, we've got now four thousand clusters. You could probably run with this and be okay. Gift ideas for boyfriends, unique gift ideas for women, gifts for couples. Now, what you can do is do some filtering here. If you if you think that 4,000 is a bit too too much and a bit too much to handle, we could probably narrow this down a little bit. So let's put the keyword difficulty up to 10. And we want to see a low DR in the top five. Let's put something like five. If we've got a DR5 in the top five, there's a hole, there's an opportunity in the SERP. And then we do that filter, and there we're left with 134 clusters. That's perfect, perfect to make a start, you know, with some really low competition keywords. So here we go, let's have a look at this first one. Experience gifts for kids. Let's look at the SERP. So yeah, in the SERP we've got a DR4, in the top five, sorry, we've got DR4, no backlinks. We've got a couple of Reddit results then. No backlinks, no backlinks, no backlinks. So the, the DR of the top 10 is looking pretty competitive, but there is a DR2 in there. So gifts to men under $30. A global volume of 300 So yeah, we've got a DR zero in the in the top five. It's two there. Hardly any backlinks for these in the top five, six. Um, so yeah, some of these look very doable. Diaper party gift ideas for guys. I'm not sure what that is or what that means, but it's got a global volume of 150. Diaper party gift ideas. Oh, diaper shower. It's like a baby shower, right? Okay, 
So again, again, number four, DR2. Got Etsy in there, got Reddit in there. Backlinks nowhere to be seen in this top top 10, really. No backlinks at all. So yeah, there's some, some wide open opportunities there. Um, using these filters, you can really narrow it down from something that's 5,000 articles you could potentially write, narrows it down to about 100. Now, I just wanted to um, go over a service that we do called Content Plan. So we do all this um, for clients and their clients, and we keep it really simple. So we do up to 100 topics. So we're not going to overwhelm you and give you 5,000 topics to write. We'll do it up to 100, and we actually give you the titles, some suggested titles. We give you the volume of that of the topic of the cluster. We give you all the keywords that relate to that to that cluster. We give you the SERP difficulty, so you can prioritize maybe the easy ones first. We give you suggested word count, so your writer knows exactly how many words to write. The content brief and structure, so your writer knows what headings to use, and it's just ready to pass on to your writers. And it's two hundred and fifty quid. You get that back if you use us for content. So it's essentially free if you if you use us for content. So it's a really cool service, and I've actually done it for Gift Assistant. So if you want to see what a final uh, content plan looks like, is we have the title here, we have the main keyword, we have the total volume of that topic or cluster, whatever you want to call it, and then we have the keywords associated with that that cluster. We have the difficulty, we have the recommended word count, so writers know how many words to write. And we have some headings there. And then we have a category. So, you know, some of these articles will belong together in the same category. Even though they're different pages, they might be related, so you can interlink them. You can put them in the same category on your, on the CMS or the blog, WordPress, whatever it is. But yeah, on here we've got 100, 100 topics, and I'm just going to go and get these written by Fat Joe. And publish them to the site and I'm, I might do a little series on this and keep everyone updated on on how well this site does uh, so yeah hope that helps and um, now you know more about how to build a content plan for your clients and I'll see you on the next video like and subscribe